Former Walmart employees of Reddit, what are your horror stories? Not so much a horror story, I worked in grocery as a stocker, we had just finished a cereal display near the front of the store compiled of about 100 boxes, in comes an older lady, around 60s, driving one of the electric carts, she's looking dead on at the display and promptly rams into the thing, boxes go everywhere and she starts apologizing over and over and explains that she's legally blind. A customer that was nearby and saw everything asked her how she drove here if she was blind. She responded by quickly turning around and leaving the store. I'm cured. It's a miracle. Open up the semi-trailer full of pet food to be greeted by 5 raccoons staring me down. I'm a full grown man but that was intimidating. Raccoons can can be scary as frick. I would have probably let out a very undignified squeal. Working there as a cashier since October. Christmas Eve rolls around, and thank god I'm not scheduled to work. Q phone call from the manager asking why I haven't come in yet that day. I'm not on the schedule manager. Yes you are me. I'm not coming in. I wasn't on the schedule. Next day I worked with the day after boxing day. Went and looked at the schedule. And lo and behold, someone wrote that I was supposed to work. In pencil. I quit shortly after. My mom was a manager at Walmart. She told me about this woman who was trying to steal a prepaid phone. When she got caught by security she used the knife she was attempting to open the plastic packaging with to cut the security dude after cutting herself. She then went on to scream at him that she has AIDS and now he's going to have it for trying to stop her. We just recently had that happen with a security guard at my work. Our security guard threw this punk out of his car as he attempted to make off with some merchandise. And she scratched him with her nails by mistake. Whoops colon genuinely wasn't her intention. And he proceeded to absolutely howl and laugh about how she now had AIDS. Freaking savages. I worked at Walmart about 13 years ago at one of the few stores left that closed overnight. It was a regular old Walmart. Not at all super. I worked overnight. Stocking. I liked it. I only dealt with customers for a couple hours before the store closed and then just stocked the shelves. I mainly worked in the automotive department, and the nights would go by really fast. I worked with a bunch of people who were related to each other. There was the dad, Steve, his wife, his wife's sister, and his stepdaughter who worked there during the day in the jewelry department. Steve stocked the sporting goods department, right next to mine. This guy was really gross. He would constantly pop over to my section and ask me if I needed help lifting stuff up onto the overstock shelves and he would make comments about how pretty I was and how if he was 10 years younger he'd date me. Dude was pushing 50 and I was just a 19 year old girl. I just laughed off his comments, say I didn't need help and that I was perfectly happy with my boyfriend thank you. One night he decided to tell me how big his penis was. He related a story, a total lie, I'm sure to me about how one day he was getting out of the shower and his stepdaughter, who was 17, saw him accidentally and exclaimed about how nice his penis was and how she wanted to try it out. I was dumbfounded and I did not know what to say. I just said oh, well I gotta get back to work and kinda shuffled away. A week later he was caught having sex with his wife's sister in the bathroom at work. They were both fired, his wife quit and his stepdaughter continued to work there. Holy crap. You worked at the Jerry Springer version of the store. Mine isn't as bad as some of those here, but it was its own special kind of awful. I worked on third shift for a summer between college years. The Walmart I was in had about one hour's worth of music playing over the speakers all night, playing on a non-stop loop. My sleep habits were already pretty fricked from trying to adjust to third shift. But the music is what really did it. I heard that same music loop over and over again, all shift. 5 days a week. When I left the store, I would still hear it running in my head. Then I started hearing it in my dreams. Then, it got so ingrained, that I started just dreaming I was working my shift at Walmart. Several days a week, I would have the experience of working an entire 8 hour shift. Then just around quitting time, my alarm clock would go off. And I would wake up and go work an 8 hour shift. I quit a few weeks early at the end of the summer because I was losing my goddamn mind. I sprained my back moving product in the back. At first I thought it was a pulled muscle. And walked towards the pharmacy to try and buy our heating pads and some Tylenol. I made it to jewelry. 
barely keeping conscious from the pain. I asked my co-worker to call management and let them know I had hurt myself pretty badly and needed to go to the hospital. Management told her to have me go to the back office to fill out paperwork. I blacked out twice going back and was yelled at for taking so long. I ended up being out for a month and a half for the injury and got a whopping $24 in workman's comp because the second I got hurt my hours were reduced to one hour a week. I hate Walmart. A lot of what I'm seeing in the comments of people who didn't know they had a lawsuit on their hands makes me feel like I should start a non-profit primarily focused on informing Walmart employees of their rights. A friend of mine was working part time at Walmart, he'd been there for over a year, was working any and all positioned shifts they threw at him so he could try to provide for his wife and, unexpected, new baby, he started to apply for any and all full time positions as they really needed the benefits. One day management took him aside and told him this was not the Walmart way and he needed to make a plan with steps on how to get to a particular position. Apparently, anything full time is not okay. Walmart wants to help you achieve your specific goals. Once I had a woman who was giving me a hard time about a coupon that was expired. Coupon people are the worst. She refused to give up. She really wanted that dollar off. My line was really getting long and I was getting really frustrated. So I reached in my pocket and pulled out a 5 and said if I give you a 5 will you give up on this coupon she got p and said I can't believe you said that to me. She told the CSM but I didn't get in trouble for it. You're right. Coupon people are the worst. I'll start with my grossest. A woman comes in with some panties and said they didn't fit and she wanted to return them for cash because she had already bought the correct size elsewhere. She had a receipt and plopped her Walmart bag down on the counter. Inside this bag were 6 crusty crotched, crap stained panties that were a biohazard from 6 feet away. Needless to say I did not touch them. I page the manager on duty and he tells me to just take them back despite being very nasty. Processed the return and she happily left the store with her $8. Those panties were worth a lot more with the crusty crotch and crap stains there they would ever be. New. Your manager is a smart businessman. Probably banked $50 to $60 a pair. Easily. You'd be surprised what man will spend on a good pair of stinky undies. Former cart pusher. Had an old lady try to tip me $1 after I helped her bring her newly bought plants or some crap to her car. I told her I couldn't accept it per company policy. And it was only $1 so I mean it wasn't particularly enticing. She then proceeded to roll over in her little scooter mobile and stuff it down the front of my pants. She chuckled dirtily as she rolled away. I worked for Mal Ward 11 years ago for a whopping total of 8 months. I worked the overnight shift as an overnight stocker for department 8, pets. The store I worked at had just gotten brand new high rise shelves installed. They were said to be able to hold over a ton. Well. One night after getting all my regular freight stocked and the overstock put into the bins, my bosses had me pull 8 pallets of Arm & Hammer cat litter. The boxes had a bonus 10 pounds inside, making them nearly 35 or so pounds a piece. They wanted all of those on the high rises. I asked if they were absolutely sure the shelves would be able to handle all that weight. I threw a crap fit about it because I know I was in the right for being worried. Other department managers who were there also sided with me. They watched over the next couple of hours as I carefully did my job. As I was putting the final 12 boxes on the bottom shelf, I heard a cracking and tearing sound. And next thing I know is I'm buried underneath all of the cat litter that had caused the shelf to collapse. Everybody in the store heard it happen. And everybody was explicitly told not to dial 9, 1, 1, or anything. Frick that crap. After getting all my blood cleaned from my face and cuts patched up, I called my uncle's then time girlfriend who is a lawyer, told her what had just occurred, and what the upper management is attempting to do. As of today, I still haven't spent all the money I received as a result of going to court over it. Frick Walmart. I'm beginning to wonder if there is some sort of unofficial since they wouldn't put that crap in writing. Policy about calling 911. I was denied it too when I was assaulted by a customer. Freaking Walmart. This was like 5 days ago. I still work there. Went into the men's room and there was liquid crap on the wall and dripping down to the floor. Like someone literally shot a diarrhea rocket on the wall. I just pretended like I didn't see it and carried on with my day. That's really the best thing you could have done. I don't even understand how people think it's okay to do this. 
Last summer I frequently visited my best friend who worked at the technology counter thing at Walmart. One day when I was there someone took the biggest, steamiest crap I've ever seen in my life in the middle of the toy aisle. Someone pushed a car through it and it smeared everywhere. My buddy called in a code brown on his walkie talkie, trying to be a smart ass. Code brown means hostage situation. Hilarity ensued. When I worked at a hospital, a code brown was what your buddy thought it was. I was working at Walmart at the beginning of this year. Aside from weird older men hitting on me, it wasn't that bad. A few weeks before the minimum pay was raised, they decided I needed a new position in the store. I was told that I was great with people and needed to be out helping customers as opposed to checking. Sales associates get paid less than cashiers. They told me that since it was basically a promotion for me that they would let me keep the cashier pay instead of lowering me to sales pay. I agreed to the job for that reason, plus new job was full time. A week later they take me to sign the papers for the job switch and the manager gets to the pay part. He says, I know we told you that you could keep the same pay, but it's just easier to make it the same as everyone else's. Besides, everyone's pay is going up in a few weeks anyway, so I just agreed. Whatever still going to be making more, then my hours start getting cut. I agreed to 40 hours. I was cut down to 25. My manager said he messed up the schedule on accident and would fix it. It continued happening every week. I finally got so frustrated I just left one day and never came back. That type of management doesn't deserve a two week notice. There was black mold in the dairy cooler. And I don't mean just a little patch. I mean all the way along the yogurt wall. The manager who was asked to clean it claimed he did. So naturally the higher up management went to check his work. He hadn't even touched it. They ended up having to stand in there watching him disinfect the cooler from top to bottom. This was a well known druggie and it was too gross for him. A co-worker witnessed one of the day shift meat department workers take a piece of meat that was almost green out of claims and put it back on the shelf. On top of that, for a good 3 months you could smell the expired meat from outside the meat cooler. Oh god, meat claims, the smell from some of the things that come from returns. Why are people returning meat anyway, after sitting there all day, liver was the worst. Walmart week long anniversary sale. I bring out a crate of Charmin Ultra Soft that was on sale. A pack of shoppers jump at it. Mom sends her little 5 year old daughter to squeeze into the crowd. Other lady scratches her and takes her score. Women's washroom. Blood, poop, water and tissue everywhere. A line of pee off ladies forms in under 1 minute after closing off washroom for cleaning. Some guy throws up in aisle 3. Barricade both ends of the aisle to clean up. People still try to squeeze in even with the smell and the visibly disgusting floor. Collecting carts in a parking lot where driving instructors like to take their students. This was before they had that electronic cart pushing thing. People will stand in the middle of the road as they see me coming in with the carts all the while dragging little Timmy with him her. I can't just swerve away from you and that oncoming car so get out of the way. Some guy makes the perfect spiral poop in the urinal in the men's washroom. Why? How? I left it for the night crew and feigned ignorance. I envy spiral poopers. They have it good. 4 hours into my first shift. I was facing items on a bottom shelf while a co-worker was facing items on the top shelf. She dropped a gallon of Gatorade on my head. Management refused to let me report the injury or leave to seek medical attention. I finished the shift, dazed and in pain. The next day I found out my skull was broken. Officially, since I was not allowed to report the injury, it didn't happen at work. I rage quit. You should have rage sued. Happened before I got hired. But I heard enough about it from co-workers. An elderly couple would come in once a week to go shopping. The old man had troubles walking so he would kiss his wife and go sit in the fitting room area until she was done. One day they came in and did their little kiss and he also handed her his wedding ring. Like he knew something was about to happen. A couple minutes of sitting there after his wife walked off. The guy collapsed to the floor and the fitting room ladies called 911. One of the department managers of the time was also a paramedic so he rushed over. 
the old guy started to cough up blood and every available associate had to come and make a wall of people so customers don't see what is going on. All of these associates saw and heard the guy choking on his own blood, now coming out of his nose and ears dying on the floor. They were trying to find his wife and no one could find her and the associates had to wait a half hour for the coroner to get down there and take the body. The associates who saw it still have flashbacks about it. Walmart workers of Reddit. What's some crazy Walmart stuff that has gone down during your shift? A woman asked me to help her find something. So I start walking her over there. We start walking by the toy section when I see two kids, 10-13 if I had to guess, playing with plastic lightsabers. They were hitting each other hard enough to actually dent the plastic so I had to step in. I shake my head and was about to go tell them to chill out when our secret shopper security chick walks over to them and shouts you too. Get the frick out of my store the kids look around like she might have been talking to two other people. She shouts go at them again and one turns to leave but the other starts walking towards me. I do the panicked deer in headlights face. Then I realize that he is walking up to the woman I was helping. He says mom, and the woman just replies you heard her. Get out, I'll meet you in the car. I realize that the secret shopper might have gone a little too far screaming the word frick at children. Unless there was more to the story. But that mom is amazing. Very few parents would recognize that their kids are being destructive. Worked at Sam's Club. We have a section where we keep security systems for homes. One of them has this absolutely brain killing loop that plays on a TV above it. It's the typical man, wife, and kids story and how the thing has changed their lives. One day, while working in the area, a customer comes in and starts checking out the system with the loop. I answered some questions for him but I noticed something was off and I just couldn't figure out what it was. After the guy walked away, I was straightening up the aisle and happened to look under the loop for a split second. Holy mother of crap. The customer I was helping looked exactly like the fake husband in the commercial. He came back later and I pointed it out to some of my colleagues. It was crazy as heck. Used to work at Walmart. A guy came in, walked back to hardware, picked up a ladder and went straight to the service desk with it trying to get a refund on it. Haha. <laughs> Probably because Walmart sometimes does store credit if no receipt is there. No wonder they started using more greeters to stick a PPL returning items. I was told how to apply for welfare within a week of starting the job there. It was a second job for me so I didn't qualify but most of my co-workers were on food stamps and daycare assistance housing assistance. Yeah the US. Government indirectly subsidizes the wage expenditures of Walmart as their employees almost never earn wages above the poverty line and qualify for welfare. What great jobs this wonderful, socially and environmentally conscious corporation provides to the world economy. S. Kid came in at about 2am with a hoodie on and a backpack. He hung around until the person working electronics was occupied, and then attempted to cut a cell phone out of its plastic shell. He was in a hurry, and he cut himself on the jagged plastic trying to pull the phone out. He walked towards the bathroom in the back, but presumably decided against going in because he was leaving a trail of blood behind him. He walked through fabrics and crafts and wiped his hand on several rolls of fabric, then proceeded to walk around the edge of the store, covering random things with blood presumably for the heck of it. He walked into the bathroom in the front and washed his hands, then left. He was caught because the backpack he was wearing was for a nearby college, and his face was clearly visible on the camera. It took three associates almost two hours to clean up the blood he left behind and to dutifully look over everywhere he went as to not leave bloody items on the shelf. He ruined almost $500 worth of goods. Oh, and he never got the cell phone. I'm a meat processor at a Sam's Club, and you'll have people put raw meat in the stupidest places. The freezer's a classic. But I love it when people decide they don't want their pork loin they just had meticulously sliced and they just throw it in with the potatoes. A kid had just started his first day as a cashier and he had trouble working the register. The customer got really pee off at how long he was taking and cursed the kid out and then spit in his face. The guy just walked off as everyone stared and the kid cried. Another time two white guys came in asking every Hispanic if they knew where the burritos were and they were laughing and giving high fives when they told them where they were. Also, the manager hired this other guy who later told me that he and the manager were having an affair and their wives didn't know. 
I called Bulls thinking he was messing with me and then showed me a picture on his phone of them kissing. The guy ended up ratting on several employees for being lazy or on their phones and got them fired. After a few months I had it with that place. They were extremely disorganized and irresponsible that it was a miracle that the store even functioned. Abuse was the only thing the managers did well. It was as though they were competing with the customers to see which of them could make us feel more like trash. The day I quit, this old lady and her daughter showed up with 5 carts full of food. I worked at the garden center and people think it's faster to pay there so a lot of people pile up and so I had a huge line of people waiting behind her. She's having a conversation with the daughter and is loading up her groceries and I scan two carts almost. She then says who told you to start scanning. I'm gonna price match. You're usually supposed present an ad but instead she hands me 5 pages of tiny, illegible, red handwriting. She wants me to take out all the items from the 20 some bags and rescan them and then find them on one of the 5 pages and price match. I tell her she's supposed to bring an ad from the store and that I can't price match her stuff. So then she makes a call to someone cause she's B. The line of people is furious at both of us. My co-worker says dude just do it she's here every week and the manager makes us do it anyway. So as I press the button to restart the purchase and to take off the scanned items from the register, the piece of crap freezes. Then the store manager shows up and turns out the lady is his freaking aunt and he's mad too. Everyone is staring at me. I'm drenched in sweat. The machine is frozen. Too many items in bags to rescan. Three cards left to scan. Five pages I can't read. And a huge freaking line. I called her a bee and walked out the entrance 20 feet from us and went home. My phone then gets like 10 voicemails from my manager. I don't even listen to them and I just delete. Finally it was over. Frick all that. I would have done the same thing. I was helping pull grocery pallets to the floor around 9pm for the night crew. This day we had numerous deliveries. So I'm dropping the pallets in the center of the main aisle. I notice two women standing in the middle of the aisle talking. It doesn't register as anything out of the ordinary. 45 minutes later they're still there and I'm running out of space to put these pallets. By the end of it all they were in cases on three sides by pallets of groceries 5 feet tall. When I left they were still there talking. Some say they are still talking to this day. This list could go on forever. I was a manger at the Walmart I worked at for about 2 years. One day this lady came in, she was regular so everyone kind of knew her. She decided to walk up to me and say my husband is stealing tons of toys in the children's section. I laughed it off, until she kept looking at me with no smirk at all and I realized she wasn't lying. She told me they've been fighting the whole day and he's pee her off. I went to the back and looked at the cameras and saw this guy stuffing tons of toys down his pants. I couldn't believe this so I called up the store manager and they brought him into the office and banned only him in the store. He cried and said sorry and we never saw him again. Also some old guy used to sit at the entrance and touch himself not so secretly when chicks would walk in. I'm imagining him trying to walk with a pool noodle down each pant leg. I love that Walmart stuff works as a universally understood descriptor of a certain type of behavior. 10 black chicks 2 black guys came in the store. 2 got into argument about one of the black dudes and it turned into a 10 girl brawl. Titties and all that came out and my manager just sat there trying to de-skill it with no success. Nobody was caught they got away before the cops came. Couple got caught fricking in the family restroom. Forgot to lock door and another employee walked in on them. Local drug addict walked out with 3 50 inch TVs without being noticed. Chick tried walking out with a cart full of groceries it didn't work so she made a run for it had a car outside waiting for her and all. All overnight shift. I'll let you in on a secret. The couple didn't forget to lock the door. I worked night shift stocking for one summer during college. There was once a couple that came in the night before bamboozles started and they wandered around the store for 6 out of the 8 hours I was there and they were high as frick. The woman kept asking me about which baby wipes would be best to take with her to the festival. And she would pick stuff up and carry it around for a while and just set them down in random places. Another time I was hit on by a man while I was on my way to the restroom. He called me mammy and he had a greasy jerry curl and the largest case of natty light that we sold. I hung out in the bathroom for a while after that because I was super uncomfortable. And I was also surprised by how many people will take infants shopping at 11pm. 
newborns nurse every 2 to 4 hours. Sometimes it's nicer to hit up Walmart at night where you only have to dodge pallets instead of rude people. Especially if the baby is going to be awake and keeping you awake anyways. Now when the child is old enough to sleep through the night, that's when you're trying to finally catch up on your sleep also so late night Walmart trips are out. I was working the service desk, and had gone on break. When I came back, I saw a puddle of red on the floor in front of the desk. We were trying to figure out what it was, when I see it's coming from a box on the counter. This box was one of the old school stereo system boxes. This happened about 15 years ago, and so we opened it. The girl who was covering my break pipes up oh that got brought back by a guy who says it doesn't work. He's exchanging it for a new one inside the box is a defrosting turkey, a duffel bag of old nasty clothes, and a case of beer. Just as we start pulling stuff out, the guy came up to the counter, sees us looking at the box and takes off. So not only did he not get a new stereo, but he lost a turkey and case of beer for nothing. I like to image he was using such a random assortment of things in the box so that it weighed the same, like he thought he was being extra smart. One of the managers made a copy of their key to the cash office and let her boyfriend rob it. Got quite a bit of money. Got caught not only because she made the key at the store, but boyfriend didn't have a job and they both got new cars right after the robbery. Kinda had a similar situation but cash person. Don't know if it was manager. Took a bundle of cash then left. Never came back. Police arrested him at his house. I worked in the meat section for a while. I could kind of see down the cereal aisle out of my workspace. One day I saw a 55-ish guy on a rascal scooter coming down the aisle with only a half gallon of milk with him. He proceeded to grab a box of fruity pebbles, open it up, open the milk, and pour it into the cereal. He then started to drink each cereal out of the box while milk and fruity pebbles flowed down the sides of his face. He slowly began scooting around periodically supping from his box of cereal. I didn't say anything because I didn't care and, secondly, I found him inspirational. Later I found the half-finished, milk-soaked box stuffed in a coffin freezer while I was restocking. That made me regret not calling the butthole out. Comma milk-soaked box stuffed in a coffin freezer while I was restocking. That made me regret not calling the butthole out. On the bright side, at least he put it in the freezer. Better than putting a milk soaked box hidden in the clothing section for it to go sour and rot. Ex employee here. Had a code red. Someone had set a rack of clothes on fire. As I'm trying to usher customers out of the garden shop exit, one of the assistant managers comes up with her mom and asks me to ring them out really quick. Had an employee come through my line trying to steal everything she could get her hands on. She had three purses over her shoulder. Items stuffed into big bags of Halloween candy. UPC stickers from 25 cents votive candles stuck to pricey electronics, etc. I guess she though I wouldn't notice. She hands me her employee discount card and I ask for her id. Then call security. Had a special needs lady that would get dumped at the store by family every day. She would just wander around and shop for hours. If she did have anything in her buggy, she'd pay for it but then would go to the service desk and return it all. She wasn't a huge problem, just kind of odd and a nuisance bothering customers and employees all day. The store wanted to kick her out but didn't know how. They finally got her one day as she got a cup at the snack bar but don't pay for it before taking a drink. Banned her from the store for stealing. Had a department manager in the photo lab that would get pedicures on the clock and then take 3 hour lunches. Had us clean photo processing equipment with SOS pads. Big problem. Is gritty and throws off the chemicals. Would send us home early because the district manager was telling he to cut hours. He wasn't. And she'd get pictures that co. Workers had sent out to be processed and show them to all the employees. Her favorite. The gay couple in produce that like to cross dress in their private target target. I hate Walmart. Some lady came in determined to buy peanuts for her squirrel. She wanted unsalted peanuts but we only had salted. She freaked out and picked up several bags and started chucking them at my head. Got yelled at by a middle aged man because I didn't know what clothing size his toddler wears. Someone tried to buy 45 frozen turkeys on Christmas Eve 30 minutes before closing. We only had about 9 left. Thankfully she was civil about it. 
Yelled at for not having snowsuits in the summer. Yelled at for not having swimsuits in the winter. One of my co-workers got fired for stealing a pre-made salads from produce every single day for his lunch. It took them three months to notice. Uh, I was actually very surprised not to find swimsuits for women at Walmart this December in a St. Augustine, Florida near the ocean. They did have men swimming shorts, but not women swimsuits. I did not yell thought. I used to push carts for them. I've found a used condom in the cart. And I've also found a grocery bag with a half-eaten rotisserie chicken in it. I know because when I lifted the bag to throw it away, the bag ripped open and what I assume was milk in the bag also spilled all over the cart. You must know it wasn't milk. I used to work as a photo lab associate in a Walmart in Southern California. So occasionally we get women that like to print out naked pictures of themselves for their spouses that are in jail prison and each one of those times we have to recite a script claiming that for some legal reasons we couldn't not allow them to purchase the pictures and we would have to dispose of those said pictures in the shredder. One particular woman liked to hide her nudes on the different packages that comes through the machine that prints out the pictures. My job, which I enjoyed very much, was to look through each one of those pictures with the customer one by one. I generally handle the pictures like oh I handle poker cards by the way. Each time I had to do the search in front of that particular woman I always end up feeling like a professional poker card handler and the thought of finding a big, red, thumping vagina staring at my face came to me like trying to find Waldo in a children's book. Sure enough, when I find them I get this acute angled smirk grin on my lips that's hidden very well and the recitation of the script comes to play. Oh man. If I didn't work in electronics and covered for photo lab often I would have not believed you. But so many people tend to try and print this out. Heck I remember when we got a new seasonal associate. She was probably 19. And Mormon. She went to go assist someone on the self print machines and she came back terrified from what she saw. Work night crew out of high school. Hunting department had compound bows, arrows and targets. We used to set them up in the aisle and shoot them the bows didn't have sights on them. We missed a lot. Pallet jack races in the back room. Cherry tomato fights in the produce section. The best part about that job was we had a co-worker that collected toys. He knew all the valuable Hot Wheels, starting lineup figures etc so we'd go through all the boxes and hide the good stuff till we could pay for it. The best part about that job was we had a co-worker that collected toys. He knew all the valuable Hot Wheels, starting lineup figures etc so we'd go through all the boxes and hide the good stuff till we could pay for it. You. You and your ilk are the reason I can't find any freaking Transformers for months after their street date. There used to be this young woman who, about once a week, would come in, browse the clothing, and try clothes on. Not unusual. Expect she would just do it there. Take her shirt off. Stand in her bra. Put the shirt on. See how it fit, and the repeat the process multiple times. She had a nice set of boobs so that helped. It was a secret amongst the workers. When she walked in there would be a whisper campaign and even oblique calls over the walkie talkies that she was in. We'd then totally stealthily stand around and wait until the show started. Even the women got in on it. We tried our very best to not let Mangaman know. There is absolutely no way she didn't know half the workers in the store were staring at her tea. Sadly, one day she stopped and would just be a normal shopper. We strongly suspect a manager found out and intervened. Worked at Walmart for two months when I was in high school. One Saturday afternoon, I was finishing my shift and actually telling my co-workers by when a customer walked into my department. He bent over and vomited all over the floor before turning around without saying a word and leaving. My shift was scheduled to end at 6pm and it was 6.01pm. But guess who had to clean it up frick Walmart. A former colleague of mine got caught boosting a few hundred dollars worth of Pokemon cards from Walmart while he was taking a client on an outing. We cared for disabled people. I never found out if he hid project on the client's personal wheelchair. But I had to bring a second van to the store and pick my client up while the police took my co-worker to jail. Crap like this is why I don't touch trading card games. I used to watch him flip through expansion packs and go from unfathomable frustration to complete elation. It's like watching a junkie finding product in their bag. I was a customer at Walmart during Black Friday and went to get a 3DS and the employee looked so scared when he told me the Black Friday sale didn't apply anymore. Still bought it cuz Pokemon. 
I worked in the sporting goods department of a Super Bowl Mart for a summer and one time had to spend almost 10 minutes convincing a man he was not allowed behind the counter to look at the ammo in the cabinet and that I also refused to open up the case until he got back on the other side of the counter. This was mostly because a disgruntled ex-employee had broken the key off in the lock after unlocking the cabinet and leaving it open and the manager didn't see a point in replacing it. Every time someone wanted to look at a box of bullets or shells or anything we had to pretend we were unlocking a totally open glass cabinet door. I don't know if the guy gets behind a register because he thinks he can or the totally unlocked bullet cabinet is the more Walmart part of that. Eventually we had the store manager and security there forcibly removing the guy from the store because it eventually became about the principles of this being a free country or something for the guy. Actually, that was probably the most Walmart part. Okay, I'll just go and stand in that guy's room and look through his closet, because it's a free country. Used to work there a long butt time ago. A lot of the cameras aren't even cameras. They are just the little black spheres there to deter any theft or whatever. And the cameras that are in the store. No one sits there and watches them. Not Walmart, but Walmart stuff really. So I work at this local hardware store and this old couple walks in. Oh my god, it's 6 o'clock, can we just browse for a couple minutes I know you're closed. Mom, we don't close for another 3 hours. She chuckled and grabbed a shopping cart for her and her husband. Things seem normal here right, but then they make it deeper into the store. Being stuck at register, all I heard were the two giggling. Constantly, I was starting to wonder what the heck the two were doing. Apparently they had found a place out of the way of security cameras to have sex. Maybe it was on their bucket list or something. I don't know. At least they bought some sponges from the dollar section after. Warmeters of Reddit. What's the warmatest thing you've ever warmated? Wolfeters. Don't know why I said this but it seemed like a good response. People putting crap in places it doesn't belong. A half-eaten green pepper in the freezer. Deli cheese in the women's clothing section. A pool noodle in a freezer full of bacon. Also, one of the grossest things I ever saw was when we remodeled and moved the shelves where the pet aisle used to be. Years and years of old, moldy dog food underneath. Didn't read dog food, just dog. Took me four times reading it to understand why you said it too calm. Still, that's very gross. S. Most of my stories from working at Walmart involve gross waste of food perishables. Like, someone wheeling an entire pallet of frozen turkeys out to the floor, leaving it there all day by accident, then having to throw them all away. We threw out about 10 grand in ice cream, twice, before management decided it was worth it to actually fix the freezers. Had a co-worker find a pregnant woman in the women's bathroom, on the floor unconscious with four cans of duster air around her. A guy that was a really good worker supposedly getting fired for eating ice cream in the freezer. Knew someone that worked there for a while and was managing the women's underwear department. It wasn't unusual for people to ask for help in figuring out proper sizing. But what was unusual was that one older woman decided that the best way to achieve it was to not wear a bra at all and just take her shirt off on the sales floor to see if they knew what size she was for maximum efficiency. My sister works at one of the busiest Walmarts in the country, and it's in the middle of the hood. There's this little coffee shop inside right next to the part of the store she works in, and she said one day she looked over, and there was a guy sitting down in there casually smoking a crack pipe. She called for security to come re-remove him. On Black Friday we had a Toshiba notebook for $199. These two kids tried to use a printed coupon that they edited to say $200 off any Toshiba coupon. I took the coupons and we had security kick them out. I had a black lady who had a coupon for $2 off her 8 pack of soap. She tried to use 8 of those coupons when buying 8 single $1 bars. She had a sissy fit when we denied her. In electronics someone used the tablets to film a video of him groping his girlfriend. They used a still from that as the tablet background. People complaining about 10-20 cents of their milk not being on sale or price matched. I have several family members who work at various Walmart and Target. Some highlights of the horror stories I've heard over the years. 
Poop bandits in the restrooms happen on a weekly basis. Some of them are quite artistic apparently. The lady who had an accident and just kept walking with a nice trail of poop behind her. They had to shut down an entire section and bring in hazmat. A gentleman who cut himself and then just bled all over the place. He refused all offers to call paramedics and left. A crazy lady who accused them of spying on her then went into the parking lot and started accosting other customers to warn them. The police took her away to be Baker acted. Long, long ago when I worked there as a summer job cashier. I'd just gotten on shift and up at the registers the other people were talking a little excitedly. I asked what was going on. And apparently someone had just gotten kicked out of the store. Incredulous. I got them to tell me how. Overweight. And supposedly vastly overweight. Woman wearing a string bikini had come into shop and was promptly shown the door. And that was when I realized the shocked expression on their faces was due to mental scarring and not from the rare occurrence of someone getting turned away from Wally World. Two women got into a fist fight over a pair of shoes in the shoe department. And they fought all the way to the opposite side of the store. Not my story, but a friend who worked at the salon at one of the super warmets. She went to use the bathroom in the middle of her shift and when she finished she saw there wasn't any toilet paper left on the bottom roll. But it was one of those ones that you can push on an upper roll to have it drop down and start using that. So she reaches up to push the new roll down when her fingers go into something moist and sticky. Took her hand out to see her fingertips covered in poop. Someone had taken a dump, probably fished it out of the toilet, then crammed it inside the toilet paper dispenser. My friend is a driver for Walmart Mart and they get treated like kings. Paid to pick up trailer, drop it, sleep at Walmart store if they allow it. Many are going on over 20 years. I've got a serious radio, and they advertise for Walmart drivers on the news channels. They make it sound pretty good. Someday, that kid will post on future edit about an awful time he had as a child. And the only highlight is the kind Walmart employee that got him clean underwear, pants and socks. He won't remember who it was, but he will wish that he could thank you for your kindness. I don't work at Walmart but I was evacuated from the Vero Beach, FL location two days ago. Apparently someone had called in a bomb threat. Classic R Florida man stuff there. Robot emus. NSW, Walmart workers of Reddit, what's your people of Walmart story? Just last week I was unloading a truck in the back, and this morbidly obese woman hobbles through the big associates only doors, bends over and takes a crap on the floor, pulls her pants back up, and walks out. I got written up for yelling what the actual frick, but after the managers looked at the camera, they thought it was justified for me to yell that, and let me, off with a warning, I don't know what happened to her. But the maintenance guys were p. I feel like Walmart is one of the few things where all of the stereotypes and stories you hear are actually really super accurate. My experience, a very overweight woman with a walker strapped to the back of her electric wheelchair was drinking half and half straight from a carton while she threw loose pairs of sandals all over the floor. Sounds like some really eccentric performance art. Thonged lactose. I don't work there but this lady started screaming about a golden lab service dog being too close to her child. The child was sitting in a cart in the checkout line and the dog was calmly sitting on the floor behind her. The dog doesn't bark, lick, move nothing and then the woman gets ghetto and starts shouting at everyone in sight. She had to be escorted from the store and never got to buy her stuff. LOL. At least Walmart protected the real victim. My buddy was a loss prevention officer for WM. He walked around the store all day catching shoplifters. One day, after working there for about half a year, he saw a woman stuffing merchandise into her children's clothes. When he approached her she started yelling and screaming that he was trying to molest her kids. Then she started spitting on him and saying that she had AIDS. He quit later that day and I don't blame him. Customer asked, them, do you have beef? from a pig, me, do you mean pork, them, no not pork, beef from a pig, after a lot of basically guessing what the frick they wanted and them repeating no beef from a pig I was able to figure out that they meant ground pork. 
My boyfriend and I dread Walmart but sometimes it's the best or easiest option. We were walking through the parking lot to get to the doors and halfway there we stopped to see a circle of people, watching a skinny, crack or looking woman on a motorized scooter. She's bouncing on it and trying to push it forward, but it seems to be out of batteries, and with every bounce she is yelling an obscenity, bounce crap bounce coxica. We continue walking and a 6 foot black man wearing a spandex dress and a wig comes through the double doors, and as he passes the woman on the motorized cart he starts cackling. Ah, Walmart. While I was a cashier at Walmart during my sophomore year in high school only two stories stand out. One, I was put at one of the smaller cash registers for the 15 items or less positioned right in front of the subway inside the store. This family with three younger kids sat on the benches in front of Subway and bought the three kids those flute like recorders and left their kids there while they went grocery shopping. Those kids blew into those this for a good 45 minutes to an hour driving all of us insane. I had to do everything in my power not to snap every one of them over my knee. 2. There was a lady with a small baby I needed to call the police on because the baby was crying and the mom's solution was to shake it violently and scream at it to stop. It went on far too long and I asked a manager what to do and she said call 9, 1, 1, so I did. You couldn't pay me enough to work there again. Shivers. Announcing on the intercom. Carnal interactions are not allowed in the store. You know who you are. I think I just saved two teens futures. Story time. Basically, I worked in the video department of Walmart. I just sat around and made sure everything was right through the cameras. Then I saw two teens in an empty row. The boy whipped his thingy, so I announced what had to be said. Shortly I was fired by my manager. Okay, so one day I was working, doing my thing, and I hear someone ask me a question. So I turn around to see who was talking, and I see a dead man. Well, he looked dead anyway. I swear if he wasn't walking and talking I would have legitimately believed he was dead. His skin was a deep grayish blue, his hands, his fingernails, his lips, save his eyes and teeth. I did a good job of not losing my composure and I answered his question without addressing his appearance. Never found out what his glitch was but my best guess is that he had Argyria from drinking colloidal silver. Either that or I see dead people. He was a synth. Don't work there but I was in line behind a girl so fricked up on pain pills that she sat on a bench and crap her pants. That's just Kristen. She's one of the assistant managers. I worked at Walmart for 3 months before quitting. I worked the deli and was called a dumbass while cutting up some old frick's cheap roast beef. My co-worker then told him we all were either working on our bachelors or had gotten out of the army. He promptly shut up. Another time a whale of a woman and her crying mini whale stormed up to me while I was heading into the store to start my shift and began verbally berating me, saying my daughter has a 104 fever, where is your goddamn baby Tylenol I almost got fired because I replied, if your kid has that high of a fever you need a doctor, not Tylenol, not to mention the item she wanted had apparently been recalled. Worked at Walmart for a year and a half. One night some kids hacked into out wall of speakers, and started playing pee at full blast. None of the managers knew what was going on, so they just were standing in front of the speakers listening to women moaning and men grunting. Eventually, they just unplugged all the speakers. Best night at work ever. My cousin works at the pharmacy station in a Walmart and they are extremely understaffed. One day a pharmacist called in sick at a different Walmart so my cousin's pharmacist had to run that one also. So it took longer than usual for people to get their medication. This lady came in and looked at a long line and was like I'll be back this line is too long just kind of announced it and left a shop. An hour later she came back and yelled at my cousin for why the line wasn't shorter and she tried to convince the people in line to let her go ahead because she was already in the Walmart for an hour. When she didn't get her way she just left. Former Walmart employee, worked the deli, Santa Pimp, I have no other name, it was an older man who played the role of Santa year round. In the winter, he was dressed as classic Santa, in the summer, he wore red shorts, white t-shirt, and red suspenders, still in Santa character, but in the fall and spring, he wore a bright red tracksuit with a white stripe, and a bright red wide brim pimp hat, no other way to describe it, I named him Santa Pimp, 
There was also the person in the motor scooter cart whose stomach was scraping the floor as she drove. And the woman who was out of breath walking to the deli, was having a hard time breathing as she ordered 2 pounds of mozzarella sticks, then proceeded to start eating them as she wheezed her way away from the deli. I worked there for a couple of years in produce while in college, and there was this elderly woman that would regularly come onto me. It was usually just harmless flirting from her, but one time it escalated a bit. I was stocking grapes at like 10pm and the woman comes up to me asking if they're sweet. I tell her that I have no clue because I'm not allowed to try them. I actually know an employee who was fired for sampling the produce, but that she was free to, which she does. She then encourages me to try it again, but I tell her no. Finally she points to something and tells me to look, and pops a grape in my mouth. She then puts her arm around my waist, and asks was it sweet right into my ear. I said yes, and quickly excused myself to the back room. Again, like many others, I do not work there. But this story scarred me as a kid. Some huge burly black dude came in behind me and my mother, wearing a mini skirt and a mini tank top, both of which were hot pink and matching his wig. He is also carrying a purse with a fake dog in it. Now, I do not mind cross dressers or ever have, I was 8 when this happened, but he really seemed off, like he wasn't trying to play the part but was trying to make fun of cross dressers. My mother didn't notice him until he threw a tantrum, yes a big, burly, adult, man, and screamed, I mean like literally, his lungs almost fell out, I want chocolate on my man period. No ooh ooh ow and then like 3 other dudes walked up with heart shaped boxes of chocolate. I am guessing it was a prank or a joke of some sort but it fricked me over as a little kid. I don't work there, but I shop there often since it's right beside my house. Walking distance. So one day I'm buying flowers and get well balloons for my friend who is battling lung cancer. While at the checkout line, this guy obviously older guy was trying to hit on me. What was creepy was that he asked my age. And I said 18, which he replied, I got here just in time, I now say that I'm 17 when asked. The true creeps are not deterred by 17. I worked nights in the bath and bedding department. One night we had a drunk guy and his sober gf come in looking for a bathroom mirror so I tried to help him the best I could, so I could just get him out of the store. I showed him the countertop mirrors and he got extremely offended because he wanted one for in the shower. He started yelling at me and I decided that I had enough of that crap and I started to walk away to go get a manager. This guy grabbed me by my shoulder, whipped me around to face him and started shaking me by my shoulders and screaming in my face. I promptly ran to the office and had a panic attack, because yay anxiety. My manager called the police and about 30 seconds later my co-worker came in saying a drunk guy just pee on the bike rack. It was an eventful night. Couple quick things I remember from my Walmart employment. First was the one day as I'm leaving work. I walk out the front door and I see a guy walking in with a squirrel on his shoulder. I do a double take. And sure enough there's a guy with a live squirrel perched on his shoulder. Second story was once when one of my fellow associates had to take a motorized cart back to the front from the garden center. Whoever had been in the cart previously had wet themselves and there was still a puddle. The unknowing associate sat right and said puddle. From that day on I triple checked the carts before I rode them back. Had a man walk to the liquor aisle, calmly take a bottle of vodka, walk to the sporting goods section while chugging it, then take a fishing knife out of its packaging, walk calmly to the toy section, and then cut his own arms open in front of a family. The blood was everywhere. He survived somehow. What really astounds me is that it never showed up on the news. Neither did the bomb threat that we had several months earlier. Walmart has deep pockets. Most of these things aren't unique to people who shop at Walmart. I see this sort of stuff at the public library all the time. Okay so I do not work at Walmart but had the pleasure of visit a Walmart in a small mountain town of western NC. Anyway I was waiting in the checkout line and this family was in front of me. I was impressed with how normal this family was. Mom, dad and son all had the appropriate amount of teeth and not to heavy accents. That assumption was the wrongest I had ever been. So I was waiting there for like 5 minutes when the son who was probably 5 or 6 starts acting weird like dancing etc. I assumed he had to go to the bathroom and the parents were ignoring him. 
Well this kid literally dropped his pants and laid a deuce right in front of me in the checkout line. The worst part was his parents watched and then continued on with the checkout process. Didn't apologize. Didn't clean it up or anything all they said was we encourage him to express himself I have no idea how crapping in public is expressing himself but that was the single grossest thing I have ever seen. I felt so bad for the poor Walmart worked. Who had to clean it up? I used to work as a video game merchandiser, and Walmart was one of my main stores. So while I wasn't really employed there, I still dealt with customers and so on. One night we were having a midnight launch of some game, and it was pretty slow so I was just straightening and talking to customers. In walks in this young couple with a stroller and a toddler in hand. Now mind you, this is about 11.30 at night on a Monday. The toddler is fussy, and keeps telling her parents she's tired and just wants to go to bed. Her father outright smacks her and tells her to be quiet cause he's looking at video games. Needless to say, I called the manager and they kindly asked them to leave. And no, they didn't buy any video games. I've only been to a Walmart a handful of times, I don't live in America, but I heard a woman say to her 4 5 year old son you gonna fix your face or I'm gonna slap the fuck out of it. I worked at Walmart at Myrtle Beach one summer during college, and while stocking the shampoo section, a fairly large woman came up to me and asked if I knew where the feminine spray was. Thoughts running through my 19 year old head in the span of about 5 seconds. 1. What's that 2. She said feminine for a reason. 3. Whoa. They make sprays for feminine areas. 4. You. What? She must have seen the deer in the headlights look on my face and decided I needed a more thorough explanation of the product for which she was inquiring. She proceeded to squat down, wave her hand in front of her feminine bits and say, quite loudly, you know, coochie spray. Her boyfriend turned to her and asked, wait, you've gotten that here to which she responded, nah. But I figured they've got it. It's Walmart. At this point, I'm pretty much speechless. But I vaguely remember mumbling something along the lines of try over in pharmacy. TL. DR. A woman asked me where she could find coochie spray while waving her hand in front of her crotch. I used to work inside a Walmart at a subway. One time I had to use the bathroom and as soon as I walk in, I notice two pairs of feet in the handicap stall. I think no big deal. Probably just a caretaker helping out and then two perfectly able middle aged men come out. I was a little confused at first, but I thought maybe it's just a couple of guys satisfying their urges. I zipped up and turned to wash my hands when I see one of them washing off a syringe and spoon. It was a sad reflective evening for me as I said to myself, I may hate this job, but I am not a H addict so I've got that going for me. Once a lady attempted to pay me without knowing how much her money was worth. She tried to, quarter by quarter, pay for her $7 worth of items while looking expectedly at me with each coin. After exhausting the $3 in coins she brought in, I told her I could remove one of the items, which was unacceptable. She asked so a good a few times. I told her I still needed more payment, and she huffed and said people in New York were much nicer. Sam's Club associate here. Since we're technically owned by Walmart, it counts, right? Do you work here asked about 10 times a day. Do you sell track phone, cricket or straight talk no, we don't. Well why the heck not? Do you take cash for new lines number? People like you are why we don't. Where's the iPhones directly in front of you? We have a group of men who will come in and try to haggle for everything. $40 phone case, they don't wanna pay more than $20 but start at $5. I bought this phone here 3 years ago. Can I return it? Nope. You had a 14 day window. 3 years ago. You gave me the wrong color phone sir. You asked for silver and got silver. I've got plenty more. I'm running the fancy new self checkout machines when an elderly lady approaches me with 3 items and asks me to show her how to use the machines. I stroll over with her, bend down to scan the first item. And then it hit me. Crap. The thickest smell of crap that could possibly be produced by a human assails my nostrils like a chemical weapon. I quickly check out all of her items for her and send her on her way. But not before she gives me a pat on the back for helping. She toddles away. And that's when I notice the brown chunks falling out from her pant leg. Then a scream of unbridled terror rises from the back of the store. 
The brown chunks led right back to the bathroom, and as maintenance later told me, it was as if a literal shitstorm had happened in that room. The mirrors, the stall doors, the floor, even the goddamn ceiling was covered in a thick layer of refuse. Maintenance worked their way backwards from the entrance, and I thought the worst was over, until my co-worker pointed out the handprint shaped shitstin on my vest. Bonus of the story, Walmart refused to give me a replacement vest. Ex-employee here, had a tweaker run in gushing blood out of his leg, left a trail all the way to the bathroom, upon where he locked himself in a stall and continued to pool up blood, had to be taken out by ambulance, oh and to top it off, they had a standard employee clean up the hazard spill. Unrelated to Walmart, but was at the EB Games where I worked for several years, parents wouldn't buy their kid Saints Row 3, kid was 13. I told the parents you can whip gimps with giant purple corn cobs and their kid got angry. He told me he hated me, then proceeded to lay on the floor screaming his little crap eating face till it turned literally cherry red. He shouted and cried so much that he passed out and the ambulance had to come get him. Needless to say my face was also turning red because I never laughed so hard in my life. Worked at Walmart for 4 months after high school. Saw a baby almost die in the lobby, it wasn't breathing and was going blue. I was trying to hold people back with the carts. I was a cart boy. Ambulance came and resuscitated the baby and took it to the hospital. Got in trouble for blocking traffic into the store. Similar thing happened to my co-worker, where he used the carts to stop people from crowding around a passed out lady and he got fired for it. Frick that place. Not a Walmart employee but worked in a Walmart as a vendor. Land Wales scooters would frequently run out of juice as being a ham planet mobile is quite the strenuous job. They will do anything it takes not to have to walk over and get another scooter even if they spend 15 minutes slowly inching over to the front of the store on the little scooter that could. The first day they put me on a register by myself a lady's water broke in my line. So instead of leaving she just waited in line like nothing happened. Bought her DVD player then left. All the time someone put a used diaper in one of the boxes of chocolate at the register. Which is why I no longer eat chocolate anymore. Some things just can't be unseen. Couple months ago I was working in the home decor type area overnight. Kinda autopilot working freight when out of the corner of my eye I see someone pull the pillows out. Then get down in the shelf. Then pull the pillows over him. I walked casually by to make sure and sure enough I could see him. I could. So I went to a nearby co-worker and tell him I have no clue how to handle this situation. But there is a guy laying in the shelves. Ended up getting the manager and she just casually told him he can't be laying there. We lose a lot of money in stolen merchandise from makeup sections. So management decided to lock it up behind glass screens. We ended up losing more money in customers not wanting to call someone to open it than we did in stolen merchandise. We lose either way. I've been working at Walmart for just over a year and a half and have seen some very interesting crap. Some of the people and things I remember are. A drunk Native American walking around the store giving random steaks to people. A guy roughly in his 20s at the store before we closed wanted condoms with his macaroni. People stealing expensive items through the pharmacy emergency door. Seen many people walk in the store drunk due to the liquor store right beside the building. Had kids set a garbage can on fire in the washroom. Had kids overflow the toilet in the washroom which caused water to go 10 feet into the actual store. Had people who were fat enough that their fat was pouring out of the bottom of their shirts. If I remember any more stories I'll add them through edits. I don't work at Walmart, but my best friend does. This happened on Black Friday while I'm hanging out at his house before he goes to work. He gets a phone call. He starts laughing and hangs up. Then he turns to me and says, that was my manager. Some ghetto ladies got into a fight and one picked her kid up by the arms and tried to hit the other lady with him. The other lady grabs the kid, puts him in a shopping cart pushes the shopping cart down an aisle, and the parent looks at her and yells don't you touch my child. I'm glad I'm not there right now. What the frick. A man tried to drive his riding lawnmower into the store. He got as far as the lobby. The early morning strippers are dressed surprisingly better than the average clientele. One woman assaulted another with a live lobster back when that was still a thing. Honestly, I've forgotten more people than anyone should have to witness for the pay I make. 
My mother has worked at Walmart for many years now as an optometrist in the vision center. Even though she's usually in her office and doesn't see much of the shopping people she gets a good amount of crazies also. So, she's going about her business and going through her appointments when this 28 year old woman shows up. First of all she is wearing pink pajama pants, a tank top, and brushed hair, and according to my mom and brushed teeth. Of course my mom doesn't say anything about it since this wasn't the first time for this to happen. So this lady gets in the chair and my mom asks her the usual questions where the lady gives some half-hearted answers. That is until they get to this question. Mom, are you on any medications? Lady, no, but I do have a concussion. Mom, but you're not on medication? Lady, no, my doctor told me I don't need any. Mom, but, he diagnosed you with a concussion? Lady, yes. Mom, okay, what is your doctor's name so I can ask him to put you on medication? Lady, oh, he's retired now. Mom, screaming internally excuse me? Lady, yeah he's been retired for two years now. Mom, then how did he diagnose you with a concussion? Lady, oh he diagnosed me a couple weeks before he retired. Mom, then why do you still think you have a concussion? Lady, he never diagnosed me with not having a concussion. By this point I was laughing too hard to listen to the rest of it. Ex-worker of Walmart. Gonna give one of my good stories. Worked at a small store in the middle of nowhere. There was a legend that there was a hot exhibitionist chick who came in time to time and walked around naked sometimes until she was told to leave and they call the cops. Thought it was all myth till I went to clean up a mess in the soda aisle and walked by the freezers and there she was completely naked. I stared longer than socially acceptable. I had just turned 18 and there were boobs, then walked away and didn't say anything to anyone. It was awesome. NSW, Walmart workers of Reddit. What's your people of Walmart story? Not an employee at Walmart, but I stopped shopping there when I went to college. The local Walmart was notoriously bad. 1. Three times in a row I went there, and walked down an aisle just in time to see a kid peeing themselves in the aisle, and no parent was in sight. 2. The city made big news when the Walmart men's restroom was found to have a makeshift M lab in one of the stalls. 3. Our area was predicted for a moderate snowstorm, but the weather forecasters gave ridiculous numbers. Like they claimed we would have 6 inches of ice, and 2 feet of snow in that one night. Us rational people knew, and were right, that we'd probably get 4 inches of snow, but many people swarmed the Walmart, and a few people made a Facebook page showing how devastated the Walmart was in preparation for Snowpocalypse 2011. The Facebook page showed pictures as the store was swept clean within a couple of hours of ramen, wine, milk, and cheese. My favorite picture that someone put up was the 40 year old man who had a shopping cart with 37 gallons of milk in it, and nothing else, just a fuckton of milk. Okay, so I was leaving Walmart with my purchases. As I walked to my car in the parking lot, I saw a pair of adult sweatpants, sitting in the sort of pile they do when someone steps out of them, with a massive, messy crap on top of them. I had so many questions. Where did the person go after detonating these pants? Into the store? Just bottomless. Into their car. With crappy butt cheeks? Amazing. I don't work at Walmart, but when I was halfway across the country visiting some friends the Walmart in their town had a lab bust in the men's restroom. Good ol' Muncie, Indiana. I used to attend college in that town. I had just graduated high school and took a job at Willow World since they always paid above minimum wage up here. On the most part Canadian Walmart is completely different from the WTF mecca that is the American one. I guess the main thing that stuck was during the summer. I was working as a truck unloader in the back and had to bring out a skid of diapers and such to the infant section. As I approached I noticed a smell. At first I thought it was that goddamn bird that always flew around. I figured I hadn't seen it in days so maybe it had died somewhere around there and was stinking up the place. I dropped the skid off and went past the women's change rooms. That's where all the girls who worked in clothing hung out. I was hoping to say hi to everyone but I noticed they had dealt a split from that location. Reason they moved. It was the epicenter of the smell. To this day I have never smelled anything quite like it. I've worked in a microbiology lab growing mold and fungi. I've worked in hospitals and smelled all sorts of nasty. I put in some time in pathology labs, 
Needless to say I have smelled a whole bunch of horrible things in my life but nothing compares to that Walmart scent. What was it you ask? Well it turns out an elderly lady had gone into the change room and taken a giant coke can with grey coloured crap with flecks of black in it and fresh blood coating some of it all over the floor. The whole thing must have weighed 2 pounds easy. She wrote a little letter and left it in the room with the clothes she was trying on. All the letter said was I am so sorry. Needless to say, I think granny had something horribly wrong with her because crap doesn't smell like that. To this day I assumed the black in the crap was dried blood from some internal issue, and I figured she tore her butthole pushing that monster out. The smell though, ugh. It's like if you huff an abscess while smearing yourself with durian fruit while taking a crap. It was easily the worst smelling thing I have ever experienced. TL. DR. Some grandma took a horribly thick crap on the floor which had blood on it. I'm a nursing student and have smelled my fair share of nasty things and expect plenty more to come as it's part of the job. You've pretty much smelled the worst of the worst. Looks like a combination of steto here, fatty stools, and melina resulting from a GI bleed. I've smelled burned flesh and necrotic tissue. Nothing is worse, emo, than GI bleed stools. I'm sorry you had to encounter that. Just last week I was unloading a truck in the back. And this morbidly obese woman hobbles through the big associates only doors, bends over and takes a crap on the floor, pulls her pants back up, and walks out. I got written up for yelling what the actual frick, but after the managers looked at the camera, they thought it was justified for me to yell that, and let me, off with a warning. I don't know what happened to her, but the maintenance guys were pee. I feel like Walmart is one of the few things where all of the stereotypes and stories you hear are actually really, super accurate. My experience, a very overweight woman with a walker strapped to the back of her electric wheelchair was drinking half and half straight from a carton while she threw loose pairs of sandals all over the floor. Sounds like some really eccentric performance art. Thonged lactose. I don't work there, but I have a friend who hasn't been in a Walmart in 15 years. He flat out refuses to go in for any reason. He's a pretty down to earth guy, not the type who thinks he's better than anyone else, but he avoids Walmart specifically because of the people who shop there. His reasons usually center around crying babies, overweight aisle cloggers, and the few weird old men who sit by the entrance exit gawking at the college girls. One day my friend and I were looking for a certain product before leaving town on a trip. We had been to a few stores around town. And I kept telling him, I know product X is at Walmart, we should just go there. Finally he agrees to visiting big box land, but he will go in the home depot next door to look for the product while I go in Walmart. As soon as I step inside the door, I see a massive woman on a motorized shopping cart with her massive 12 year old son standing on the back of it. She is screaming at him saying, now you get off of there boy or something like that. His retort, frick you mama. You ain't even handicapped. I got the product we needed that day, but now I do my best to avoid Walmart. Target, where people pay a little bit more not to have to step foot in a Walmart. 5am, the day after Christmas, we were a 24 hours Walmart, but closed on Christmas day and reopened the following morning at 6am. There are lines of people out the doors, waiting to return items. I'm stuck as the only person on this entire side of the store. I'm covering sporting goods, hardware, automotive, and toys. A fairly irate man sticks his head around one of the toy aisles and sees me behind the sporting goods counter. He yells, I need some help in toys I sigh and saunter over and he starts screaming about how he bought this Tony Hawk remote control toy for his son and it didn't come with a battery. Are you telling me my son can't play with his Christmas toys? It was a very hot holiday item that year and the box clearly stated the battery packs were sold separately. Terrible idea BTW. I inform him of this, and he screams again, waving around the only remaining Tony Hawk toy, demanding to know where the batteries are. I point to the empty space and little label next to where he picked up the toy and say, we're sold out. The man goes red in the face and begins screaming at me. How in the frick can you be out of them? I bought one and I didn't get a battery. This is freaking ridiculous etc. I'm handling it with a fair amount of grace and I apologize and try to explain that it was a hard ticket item this year and we are expecting some more to be in later in the weekend. In the course of his screaming rage, a fat, 
Projectile ball of spit leaves his mouth and splatters across my face. Something in me just snaps and I begin screaming at him that a. Hey, I don't work in toys. I work in sporting goods and I'm covering toys for the morning. B. It's not my fault you didn't buy the freaking battery when you had a chance. C. There is nothing I can do for you. Good day. My favorite part was that about an hour later. A call comes over the intercom for someone in toys to take a call. I take it and a woman asks if I am the young man who works in sporting goods that was covering toys an hour earlier. I confirm that I am and brace for the rantings of whatever which married the man who spit in my face an hour ago. Danny. It's him get on the phone now. The woman screams at her husband to get on the phone while he begins apologizing to me for the way he behaved earlier. Stating he knows it wasn't my fault. His wife yelling at him in the background the entire time. It was fantastic closure to the whole thing. Woman paid for her goods. Placed them into her cart and began to walk to the exit. She was nearly there when she stopped and shook her leg. Big old turd hit the floor. She continued on to the door. Crackhead came into the store. Picked up a few things then went over to where the bathroom scales were. Placed her few things on the floor. Began taking off her clothes all of them. Stood on the scale to see if it was accurate. When AP came over to toss her out she picked up her clothes and began to go out the door. The things she picked up at the store was under her clothes and she tried to walk out of the store naked trying to steal her goods. Man walks into the store during summer. Hoodie zipped up and hood up. Bought jeans and t-shirt. Went into the bathroom came out in the new clothes. Hood down. Shaved head with tattoos all over. Left the store. Came back in a few minutes later to steal a cap to cover tattoos. AP detained him. Cops were called. Cop cars all over the parking lot. Evidently the guy shot another man in the back of the head at a quincenera. Guy standing outside the store telling customers he was going in to shoot the place up cops showed up. He ran into the store. Wouldn't leave with the cops. Got belligerent stated he had a gun in his pocket. Nice little standoff. Man got taste in aisle 7 of the grocery side. I was stocking aisle 6. My first tassering. I worked at Walmart for 3 years while I was attending high school. So here's a list of some things. Comma someone leave their crap covered boxes in the dressing room. Comma a drunk elderly woman who pulled out her tea and started trying on bras in front of customers. Comma one of the managers get arrested for embezzling over $80,000. Comma someone punch our store manager in the face on Black Friday. Comma a lady who stole a cart full of laptops by putting them in empty puzzle boxes. Comma a lady getting her daughter to steal for her. Comma a guy pass out and almost die from huffing computer duster. Comma the countless times people walked out with televisions. Comma a lost prevention associate get in a fight for following around a man and his family. Comma hundreds of thieves. Comma creepy old men following around young women and children. Comma someone wanting to buy a pair of nasty old shoes that someone swapped out for new ones. Comma a guy shook my hand then turned around and had a huge crap stain on his pants. I'm sure there's more that I can't think of at the moment. Even after all of that I still don't regret working there. I made some amazing friends and it was always a surprise when you clocked in for the day. I don't work there but this lady started screaming about a golden lab service dog being too close to her child. The child was sitting in a cart in the checkout line and the dog was calmly sitting on the floor behind her. The dog doesn't bark, lick, move nothing and then the woman gets ghetto and starts shouting at everyone in sight. She had to be escorted from the store and never got to buy her stuff. LOL. At least Walmart protected the real victim. I worked at Walmart about 3 years ago during the holiday season. As happens every year Black Friday was upon us. My job for the day was to guard a pallet of $2 waffle irons that went on sale at 8 o'clock. The crowd came and everything was mostly peaceful until about 7.50. That is when people started taking the items early while trying to be sneaky about it. They thought I actually cared or would try to stop them. Then the clock struck 8 and all heck broke loose. The next thing I know I've been pulled to the ground and people are stepping on me. Luckily an old man grabbed my head and pulled me up. After getting two waffle irons for himself, he yelled come with me boy if you don't wanna get crushed again and we escaped through the frozen food section. I thanked him and then walked outside to smoke. While outside I felt a pain so I removed my shirt to see a nice large shoe print on my chest. People are crazy. LOL come with my if you want to live. 
Don't have any stories too crazy, but my personal favorite involves working the self-checkouts. Most boring job I've ever had. Now most people use self-checkouts for speed convenience or because they're embarrassed of what they're buying not realizing that everything they ring up shows up on our monitor. A trio of high schoolers come through, ring up a few items and then wave me down to take off the spider wire on a $500 digital camera. I check my monitor and see no camera on their lane. Walk over and notice they've taken the sticker off of a bag of grapes that is sold by weight and put it on the camera UPC basically trying to buy the camera for like 5 bucks. Seeing an opportunity I say, oh weird, this got messed up when it got run through as friendly as I possibly can. Delete the grapes. Take the sticker off, run it for the correct price, take the spider wire off and place it in their bag leaving them with a bill over 500. They all get these really panicked looks on their faces and one finally says, I on second thought we don't want the camera. I ask them if they're sure, delete the camera and wire it back up. As they're leaving I tell them to have a nice day after foiling their master plan of attempting to steal a digital camera. There's this awful place called Aberdeen where even if you escape and become rich and famous you still want to shoot yourself. I pulled into the Walmart there because we were heading to the beach and we forgot towels. Right past the checkouts, they had dumped a big pile of shoes and put up a sign that said clearance 80% off. So these fat people in pajamas were rooting through like pigs at a trough as we were walking by, and then the smell hit us. Crap. Someone had crap. Sure enough. This big, fat, wide, bent over butt had a black greasy skid right down the middle of their grey sweatpants. We turned right around and left. We ended up finding a slightly more depressing store across the river. Swanson's or some crap. Everyone was wearing camo. I'm sure this isn't a rare thing because it happens to me almost daily. I work in the back unloading the trucks. Most days we finish pretty early leaving us with about 2-4 hours to stock shelves. Every day someone walks up to me and just says the name of what they are looking for. Pipe cleaners. I always imagine that they are starting some kind of callback system to see if I'm cool. Like there is some kind of a return phrase where they will tell me about their secret plan. Like eggs. And I say baking soda. And the customer just drops the plans on me. Or that they are aliens trying out proper nouns to see if they have them right before trying to take over humanity. Maybe I just have too much time to think about nothing at my menial job. I used to manage the health and beauty department at a Walmart in a not so nice part of town. I thankfully escaped. I had so many people at Walmart instances that I'll just share my favorites. An older woman. 50s came in and said she was looking a shampoo that would treat scabies. I told her I didn't think we had anything specific for it but I would help her find something close in the medicated shampoo section. I turn my back to her and start going through the merchandise, looking for something that would work. She says, my, you have such pretty hair, and I feel her hand on my head. I jumped back from her so fast I almost knocked over an entire end cap. She was pretty offended by my overreaction. I thought I was justified in not wanting to be touched by someone that was currently suffering from an infestation. A bill collector called the store looking for someone that didn't work there anymore. I told him as much and he proceeded to cuss me out and said he was going to sue me. I hung up on him about 5 times that day. We had a group of diehard NRA people threaten to come in the store with their rifles as a protest. Our store manager did the one good thing he's ever done and called the cops on them. Someone died in the bathrooms. Twice. One was, unfortunately, an elderly woman having a heart attack. The other was a guy that OD'd. Had vagrants follow me to my car multiple times to help me put my groceries in the car. It got bad enough I stopped shopping there at all. If I had to buy things, it had to be something I could carry. I got pulled into a loss prevention bust when they caught a crack addict loading up a cart and trying to walk out the door. She had legitimate border lamp and wanted to put it in her car. When the police officers took her to the car, they found stolen items from other stores in the area. So I helped bust a theft ring. And my most visually memorable customer was a fat black lady riding around on one of those electric carts. It was hers not the stores. She had 3 inch neon yellow nails on all 20 digits. Hemp flip flops. A baby blue velour jogging suit. Way the frick too much makeup. A straw samurai hat. And was literally dragging a chihuahua on a leash behind her. If I was a braver person I would have taken a picture.
The person described in the last paragraph sounds amazing. I might start believing in a higher power, were I to see that in real life. My buddy was a loss prevention officer for WM. He walked around the store all day catching shoplifters. One day, after working there for about half a year, he saw a woman stuffing merchandise into her children's clothes. When he approached her she started yelling and screaming that he was trying to molest her kids. Then she started spitting on him and saying that she had AIDS. He quit later that day and I don't blame him. My own personal list of stupid I had to put up with. One excuse me, where's the closest Walmart from here well it's about 10 miles down road from here. I was told there was one in this town though, mom you're standing in that one. 2. Hey where can I get the thing that goes in the thing to make the thing bigger toys? Hey you're right. 3. Dude, can you get that big moving Pepsi off the back shelf for me that's a TV commercial. So so are you going to get it or not? 4. What's the best slow cooker for making em? 5. I need to install the internet on my computer. Okay. Well were you looking for a Wi-Fi adapter or running a hard line? No I want to install the internet. Mom the internet isn't something you install. You connect to the internet through a computer via an ISP. No I want to install the internet. I ain't paying each month for it. Mom that's not how this works. Get me your manager. Manager walks over this guy won't tell me how to install the internet. Mom that's because you can't install the internet. Is everyone here stupid or just who shoots? 6 excuse me. I need those things that go into the stuff so it happens. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that I need those things that make the stuff do those things. Can you tell me what these things look like maybe? Well they're small unless they're big, and sometimes round or square or funny shaped. Okay. What kind of stuff is happening then well all kinds of things skip 10 more minutes of similar Q&A mom can you give me just one specific example of the stuff that happens. It's the same kind of stuff that comes out of the wall holes that makes my hair dryer work. Electricity yes I want those small electric things that do stuff. Batteries are right over here. Is it what they are called? That's a funny name. I have avoided my local Walmart for 6 plus years at this point. My local Walmart is one of the worst and I have had friends work at Walmarts throughout my town and they all confirm my story is one of many. So my car doesn't have an aux plug-in, but it does have a cassette player. So I buy the cassette that has the plug attached to it, which for the record I'm convinced is musical witchcraft. They are pretty cheaply made, so I have to replace them every 7 months or so. Target usually has what I need, but they happen to be out of stock that day. Walmart was in the same mall, so I just decided to suck it up and go. I walk to the electronics section, grab what I need, and head to the electronics checkout. A lady sees me heading there, and runs. Not fast walk, runs to get in front of me in line with my one thing. I just think whatever. She probably doesn't have much either, that's why she wanted to get in front of me. Then she calls for her husband to wheel the cart over, which has a freaking TV and whole entertainment center loaded onto. I'm pretty pee, but I'm a chill guy and keep my composure. Now buying a TV is a fairly long process, but it's even longer when none of you 8 cards work. She then starts getting in an argument with her husband that he's a piece of crap. That's why they don't have money. They start fighting. Finally the guy at the register sees I have one thing and asks if they would step to the side so he could ring up my one item. The lady gets mad at him and says no. The husband yells at her and says to let me go while he figures out what went wrong. Finally I get rung up, a transaction that took 45 seconds. I'm trying to hightail it out of the store at this point, when I'm stopped by a crowd of people in the middle of the walkway. I'm tall so I look over everyone to see what's going on. And I see two checkout women literally fist fighting each other, while their co-workers cheer them on. I turned, went out the garden section, and have never gone back. Sorry for the wall of text. TL. DR. Went to Walmart to buy less than $5 item. Ended getting stuck behind couple fighting about buying a TV. Then see employees physically fighting. Not a Walmart employee but I was a coke merchandiser and had a Walmart as my first stop for a year. I'll never forget one Friday morning I was there. I had been on the job for about 2 months and nothing prepared me for what I was about to see. 
It was 430 in the morning and I had just pulled a pallet out to the floor to start restocking our display. There was a very large woman that shopped every Friday morning around the time I started working and I had spoken to her on occasion. She usually asked about my job, how I was doing etc. The previous week she had taken things a little too far and made me feel uncomfortable when she said oh honey there is nothing hotter than a man in uniform. Especially one that works hard and is all sweaty. Then she winked and waddled past me while rubbing my back. All I could say was what the frick just happened. Anyways, this particular morning she came in on a power scooter and beelined it straight for me. I was still reeling from the previous week and could only muster her what happened she responded by saying oh sugar you just knocked me off my feet. I couldn't walk today when I saw you. She then proceeded to grab a couple 2L of coke off the pallet shook them up while I can only guess was her attempt at twerking in her scooter and then opened them. Spraying it all over me and herself. It clicked. She was trying to be hot. Then she rode off slowly leaving a trail of soda behind her and turned around winking at me. Thinking I would follow. I never saw he again after that. I don't want to see her after that. And to make it all worse. I had to clean that crap up completely covered in sticky butt coke. Frick Walmart. Even if I were into larger women. She had to have been 70 years old. She could have at least been a little classier about it. Pour that crap in a champagne glass or something. NSW. Walmart workers of Reddit. What's your people of Walmart story? Don't work there and never will. We use it as a convenience store because it's on the way home from work. Stop to get milk. Or bread or some other thing the wife is missing from her current recipe. Stopped there one day after work for some reason and ran into a friend from work who had retired about a year earlier. Worked all his life. Standing on the cement facility floors and wound up having both hips replaced. The day I saw him he was slowly moving around the store with a walker. I asked him why he didn't get a scooter and his wife literally yelled. They didn't have any scooters. All the fat pigs took them. One of the fat pigs, on her scooter, was only about 10 feet away, rolling away from us. But when she heard that yell, she whipped it around real fast, hit the bank of shelves, hard, knocking stuff down, and tipping over the scooter. She started screaming and cursing at my friends and the three of us just laughed and walked down another aisle. My friend said that little show was worth having to use his walker that day, and he was supposed to walk at least a mile a day to get his hips and legs back in shape. I said goodbye to them, got my stuff and walked back past the aisle where the accident happened. There were 4 employees trying to help the fat broad and get the scooter back on its wheels. She was still screaming and yelling and added how she was going to sue someone for something. Sometimes I think our Walmart is a portal to another dimension. While I was a cashier at Walmart during my sophomore year in high school only two stories stand out. One, I was put at one of the smaller cash registers for the 15 items or less positioned right in front of the subway inside the store. This family with three younger kids sat on the benches in front of Subway and bought the three kids those flute like recorders and left their kids there while they went grocery shopping. Those kids blew into those this for a good 45 minutes to an hour driving all of us insane. I had to do everything in my power not to snap every one of them over my knee. 2. There was a lady with a small baby I needed to call the police on because the baby was crying and the mom's solution was to shake it violently and scream at it to stop. It went on far too long and I asked a manager what to do and she said call 9, 1, 1, so I did. You couldn't pay me enough to work there again. Shivers. Go to Walmart with one of my buddies. He lost his leg below the knee in a four wheeler accident. Didn't hurt his spirits much. On this day my friend was wearing jeans that completely covered his prosthesis. And he barely has any noticeable limp. Anyway, we pull into the handicapped spot closest to Walmart. We're walking the 50 feet into the store and about halfway there an old man in a boot cuts us off real close and starts screaming at my friend something about taking advantage and people who really need handicapped spots. My friend starts to motion to his leg but I stop him. So this guy continues berating my friend for about 30 more seconds. At this point a small group of people were standing to the side watching. Finally my friend just pulls up his pant leg while this guy is still yelling. You have never seen a look of greater shock and embarrassment on a person's face. I thought he was going to pass out because his face turned so red. He didn't say a word and drove right back out the entrance. We just smirked at all the people around us and got a few smiles. 
So I guess we prevented one of these people at Walmart from even getting in the store. He'll just quote what I wrote in an earlier post, announcing on the intercom. Sexual interactions are not allowed in the store, you know who you are. I think I just saved two teens futures. Edit. Story time. Basically, I worked in the video department of Walmart. I just sat around and made sure everything was right through the cameras. Then I saw two teens in an empty row. The boy whipped his thingy, so I announced what had to be said. Shortly I was fired by my manager. Back in the fall of 06 I worked at a Walmart in Arkansas over the holiday season. I stocked groceries overnight. My particular beat was the baking aisle, which gets pretty wrecked during the holidays. So one day I'm sitting there sweating my fat butt off stocking an entire pallet of 10 pounds bags of sugar when I smell something awful. It was like a mix of rotting meat and body odor. For a second I thought some douchebag college student had hidden some raw shrimp behind the jello again. So I'll look up and there's this guy standing over me. He's about 6 feet 0 tall. He's got one of those giant grizzly Adams frick off bits. He's thin as a rail. He's wearing a wife beater, overalls and a denim jacket that's so filthy the denim was a greenish color. That's not all. He had one and a half teeth. He also had a lazy eye, so I wasn't sure if he was looking at me or the Betty Crocker brownie mix. The smell belonged to him. Being the polite employee that I am, I ask if I can help him find something. He replies, dang you big old boy aren't ya? You play football? I reply, no, actually, I don't. Him, you wrestle in college, that's how he pronounced wrestle. Me, nope. Him, you wrestle high school. At this point he starts licking that nub of a tooth. Me, nervously, nope, no wrestling. Him, you like you'd be pretty good at wrestling. You wanna go outside and spare a little bit. At this point I mumbled something about it being my lunch hour and power walked by fattest back to the storeroom. I then hid behind the pallets of Dr. Pepper till I was sure he'd left. My co-workers didn't believe me, but found the story hilarious. That is until he came back the next week looking for me. For a month not a week went by where I didn't have to hide from the creepy hillbilly razzler. Thus sends part 1. Okay, so one day I was working, doing my thing, and I hear someone ask me a question. So I turn around to see who was talking, and I see a dead man. Well, he looked dead anyway. I swear if he wasn't walking and talking I would have legitimately believed he was dead. His skin was a deep grayish blue, his hands, his fingernails, his lips, save his eyes and teeth. I did a good job of not losing my composure and I answered his question without addressing his appearance. Never found out what his glitch was but my best guess is that he had argyria from drinking colloidal silver. Either that or I see dead people. He was a synth. Don't work there but I was in line behind a girl so fricked up on pain pills that she sat on a bench and crap her pants. That's just Kristen. She's one of the assistant managers. I worked at Walmart for 3 months before quitting. I worked the deli and was called a dumbass while cutting up some old frick's cheap roast beef. My co-worker then told him we all were either working on our bachelors or had gotten out of the army. He promptly shut up. Another time a whale of a woman and her crying mini whale stormed up to me while I was heading into the store to start my shift and began verbally berating me, saying my daughter has a 104 fever. Where is your goddang baby Tylenol? I almost got fired because I replied, if your kid has that high of a fever you need a doctor, not Tylenol. Not to mention the item she wanted had apparently been recalled. Worked at Walmart for a year and a half. One night some kids hacked into out wall of speakers and started playing P at full blast. None of the managers knew what was going on, so they just were standing in front of the speakers listening to women moaning and men grunting. Eventually, they just unplugged all the speakers. Best night at work ever. My cousin works at the pharmacy station in a Walmart and they are extremely understaffed. One day a pharmacist called in sick at a different Walmart so my cousin's pharmacist had to run that one also. So it took longer than usual for people to get their medication. This lady came in and looked at a long line and was like I'll be back this line is too long just kind of announced it and left a shop. An hour later she came back and yelled at my cousin for why the line wasn't shorter and she tried to convince the people in line to let her go ahead because she was already in the Walmart for an hour. When she didn't get her way she just left. 
former Walmart employee, worked the deli, Santa Pimp, I have no other name, it was an older man who played the role of Santa year round, in the winter, he was dressed as classic Santa, in the summer, he wore red shorts, white t-shirt, and red suspenders, still in Santa character, but in the fall and spring, he wore a bright red tracksuit with a white stripe, and a bright red wide brim pimp hat, no other way to describe it, I named him Santa Pimp, there was also the person in the motor scooter cart whose stomach was scraping the floor as she drove, and the woman who was out of breath walking to the deli, was having a hard time breathing as she ordered 2 pounds of mozzarella sticks, then proceeded to start eating them as she wheezed her way away from the deli. I worked there for a couple of years in produce while in college, and there was this elderly woman that would regularly come onto me. It was usually just harmless flirting from her, but one time it escalated a bit. I was stocking grapes at like 10pm and the woman comes up to me asking if they're sweet. I tell her that I have no clue because I'm not allowed to try them. I actually know an employee who was fired for sampling the produce, but that she was free to, which she does. She then encourages me to try it again, but I tell her no. Finally she points to something and tells me to look, and pops a grape in my mouth. She then puts her arm around my waist, and asks was it sweet right into my ear. I said yes, and quickly excused myself to the back room. Again, like many others, I do not work there, but this story scarred me as a kid. Some huge burly black dude came in behind me and my mother, wearing a mini skirt and a mini tank top, both of which were hot pink and matching his wig. He is also carrying a purse with a fake dog in it. Now, I do not mind cross dressers or ever have, I was 8 when this happened, but he really seemed off, like he wasn't trying to play the part but was trying to make fun of cross dressers. My mother didn't notice him until he threw a tantrum, yes a big, burly, adult, man and screamed, I mean like literally, his lungs almost fell out, I want chocolate on my man period, no ooh ow and then like 3 other dudes walked up with heart shaped boxes of chocolate, I am guessing it was a prank or a joke of some sort but it fricked me over as a little kid. I worked at Walmart in the summer of 2008, back in the photo lab, my first day at work was a Saturday, and I was told to be in at 9 for the store meeting. It was in the back by layaway, and I was toward the back of the crowd. The meeting hadn't started yet, and everyone was milling around talking. This ancient old lady, hunched over her cart, came waddling up to me and asked rather loudly, where's the bathroom? I pointed at the bathroom located in layaway, and there was a crowd of people between her and the door. She walked past me towards the door and it hit me. This awful stench that smelled like a combination of rotten seafood, hot dumpster, hobo smegma, construction site porta potty, burnt hair and dead animal, just vigorously raped my nostrils. I held back a hearty gag as she shuffled through the unsuspecting crowd. Each person she walked past visibly turned green. As the bathroom door thumped shut, the entire room erupted in gagging. One lady threw up in the water fountain. That old lady crop dusted the frick out of 30 people. It was disgustingly glorious. What a welcome to the Walmart family. I don't work there, but I shop there often since it's right beside my house, walking distance. So one day I'm buying flowers and get well balloons for my friend who is battling lung cancer. While at the checkout line, this guy obviously older guy was trying to hit on me. What was creepy was that he asked my age, and I said 18, which he replied, I got here just in time. I now say that I'm 17 when asked. The true creeps are not deterred by 17. I worked nights in the bath and bedding department. One night we had a drunk guy and his sober gf come in looking for a bathroom mirror so I tried to help him the best I could, so I could just get him out of the store. I showed him the countertop mirrors and he got extremely offended because he wanted one for in the shower. He started yelling at me and I decided that I had enough of that crap and I started to walk away to go get a manager. This guy grabbed me by my shoulder, whipped me around to face him and started shaking me by my shoulders and screaming in my face. I promptly ran to the office and had a panic attack, because yay anxiety. My manager called the police and about 30 seconds later my co-worker came in saying a drunk guy just pee on the bike rack. It was an eventful night. I have not worked at Walmart for over a good decade plus. I was a day stockman. That meant I got carts, cleaned up spills, 
set displays, etc. But here are my two biggest memories and why I quit. 1. Sharplifters. I chased one out the door and was about to catch him and he just stops. I think haha I got here. But he then turns around and pulls out a screwdriver and comes at me. Luckily L comes from the other end of the store. He put the screwdriver away and then starts walking and says I don't stop for you. You're not cops. Well L was a sheriff and pulls out his badge. The guy keeps walking. He stopped running as he was running so fast he blew right past his car. By this time he gets in the car with Earl hanging on the door. Earl either falls down or steps back. I pick up a block and heave it thinking it will not do anything but hits the rear of the car and the rear window blows out. Had some people come by later saying someone with a broken rear window blew through a stoplight. So he got away with some cheap tools but I am guessing the rear window cost more than the screwdrivers he took. Another day some older kids came through and the alarm went off. I tried to stop them just saying stop not touching them after the screwdriver guy. And one handed me some Nintendo games. He and the other guy kept walking and started to get in a SUV. I got on the intercom and called for help. Active sharplifters. Etc. No one came. So I went to the back and the store manager was just sitting there eating some vending machine pastry and told me oh you have to say code blah blah blah. And then turned away like I was not there. Between that and the screwdriver guy I never did anything to chase sharplifters unless I was backing someone else up. I had a manager ask me why I did not go after one when the alarm went off and I told him the same thing the store manager told me we can't prosecute off the alarm. And I am not going if you are not either. 2. Mystery shitter. Had someone taking shoots right in the middle of the bathroom floor. The first time I just got a mop, got as much up as I could, and then tossed the entire mop and bucket in the dumpster after I was ordered to clean it up without anything to keep me from getting crap on me. Next time it happened I was already past clock out time so I say frick that and clocked out. The guy who told me I think was the one doing it, and he was pee when I left without touching it. I quit shortly after the second time as I was done with Walmart. This was a long time ago in just a regular Walmart. So I am sure it's as bad or worse at many now. I think for retail in general you're not really supposed to confront sharplifters. Just alert security. Couple quick things I remember from my Walmart employment. First was the one day as I'm leaving work. I walk out the front door and I see a guy walking in with a squirrel on his shoulder. I do a double take. And sure enough there's a guy with a live squirrel perched on his shoulder. Second story was once when one of my fellow associates had to take a motorized cart back to the front from the garden center. Whoever had been in the cart previously had wet themselves and there was still a puddle. The unknowing associate sat right and said puddle. From that day on I triple checked the carts before I rode them back. Had a man walk to the liquor aisle, calmly take a bottle of vodka, walk to the sporting goods section while chugging it, then take a fishing knife out of its packaging, walk calmly to the toy section, and then cut his own arms open in front of a family. The blood was everywhere. He survived somehow. What really astounds me is that it never showed up on the news. Neither did the bomb threat that we had several months earlier. Walmart has deep pockets. Most of these things aren't unique to people who shop at Walmart. I see this sort of stuff at the public library all the time. Okay so I do not work at Walmart but had the pleasure of visit a Walmart in a small mountain town of western NC. Anyway I was waiting in the checkout line and this family was in front of me. I was impressed with how normal this family was. Mom, dad and son all had the appropriate amount of teeth and not to heavy accents. That assumption was the wrongest I had ever been. So I was waiting there for like 5 minutes when the son who was probably 5 or 6 starts acting weird like dancing etc. I assumed he had to go to the bathroom and the parents were ignoring him. Well this kid literally dropped his pants and laid a deuce right in front of me in the checkout line. The worst part was his parents watched and then continued on with the checkout process. Didn't apologize. Didn't clean it up or anything all they said was we encourage him to express himself I have no idea how crapping in public is expressing himself but that was the single grossest thing I have ever seen. I felt so bad for the poor Walmart worked. Who had to clean it up? Very late to the post, but in case someone decides to read the new posts here goes. 
I used to work as a video game merchandiser, and Walmart was one of my main stores. So while I wasn't really employed there, I still dealt with customers and so on. One night we were having a midnight launch of some game, and it was pretty slow so I was just straightening and talking to customers. In walks in this young couple with a stroller and a toddler in hand. Now mind you, this is about 11.30 at night on a Monday. The toddler is fussy, and keeps telling her parents she's tired and just wants to go to bed. Her father outright smacks her and tells her to be quiet cause he's looking at video games. Needless to say, I called the manager and they kindly asked them to leave. And no, they didn't buy any video games. I've only been to a Walmart a handful of times, I don't live in America, but I heard a woman say to her 4 5 year old son you gonna fix your face or I'm gonna slap the fuck out of it. I worked at Walmart at Myrtle Beach one summer during college, and while stocking the shampoo section, a fairly large woman came up to me and asked if I knew where the feminine spray was. Thoughts running through my 19 year old head in the span of about 5 seconds. 1. What's that too? She said feminine for a reason. 3. Whoa. They make sprays for feminine areas. 4. You. What? She must have seen the deer in the headlights look on my face and decided I needed a more thorough explanation of the product for which she was inquiring. She proceeded to squat down, wave her hand in front of her feminine bits and say, quite loudly, you know, coochie spray. Her boyfriend turned to her and asked, wait, you've gotten that here to which she responded. Nah, but I figured they've got it. It's Walmart. At this point, I'm pretty much speechless. But I vaguely remember mumbling something along the lines of try over in pharmacy. TL. DR. A woman asked me where she could find coochie spray while waving her hand in front of her crotch. I am very late to the party, but I used to work inside a Walmart at a subway. One time I had to use the bathroom and as soon as I walk in, I notice two pairs of feet in the handicap stall. I think no big deal, probably just a caretaker helping out and then two perfectly able middle aged men come out. I was a little confused at first, but I thought maybe it's just a couple of guys satisfying their urges. I zipped up and turned to wash my hands when I see one of them washing off a syringe and spoon. It was a sad reflective evening for me as I said to myself, I may hate this job, but I am not a H addict so I've got that going for me. Once a lady attempted to pay me without knowing how much her money was worth, she tried to quarter by quarter pay for her $7 worth of items while looking expectedly at me with each coin. After exhausting the $3 in coins she brought in, I told her I could remove one of the items, which was unacceptable. She asked so a good a few times. I told her I still needed more payment, and she huffed and said people in New York were much nicer. <laughs> Sam's Club associate here. Since we're technically owned by Walmart, it counts, right? Do you work here asked about 10 times a day. Do you sell track phone, cricket or straight talk? No, we don't. Well why the heck not? Do you take cash for new lines number? People like you are why we don't. Where's the iPhones directly in front of you? We have a group of men who will come in and try to haggle for everything. $40 phone case? They don't wanna pay more than $20, but start at $5. I bought this phone here 3 years ago. Can I return it? Nope. You had a 14 day window. 3 years ago. You gave me the wrong color phone sir. You asked for silver and got silver. I've got plenty more. I'm so late. But here we go. I'm running the fancy new self-checkout machines when an elderly lady approaches me with three items and asks me to show her how to use the machines. I stroll over with her, bend down to scan the first item, and then it hit me. Crap, the thickest smell of crap that could possibly be produced by a human assails my nostrils like a chemical weapon. I quickly check out all of her items for her and send her on her way, but not before she gives me a pat on the back for helping. She toddles away, and that's when I notice the brown chunks falling out from her pant leg. Then a scream of unbridled terror rises from the back of the store. The brown chunks led right back to the bathroom, and as maintenance later told me, it was as if a literal shitstorm had happened in that room. The mirrors, the stall doors, the floor, even the goddamn ceiling was covered in a thick layer of refuse. 
maintenance work their way backwards from the entrance, and I thought the worst was over, until my co-worker pointed out the handprint shaped shit stain on my vest. Bonus of the story, Walmart refused to give me a replacement vest. As posted a few years ago, the craziest thing I saw wasn't even in a photo. I worked at a rural area Walmart. It was late one evening and me and another guy were the only two in the lab. No one had been in for a while, so we were just standing around. That's when a group of teenagers walked by the lab. The last one in the group was a male wearing jeans that looked like they were painted on, a tight black t-shirt, and a black fuzzy headband with kitten ears on them holding back his very short hair. Being a fairly conservative community, I took notice and me and the other guy chuckled a little. A few minutes later, a big guy with a white t-shirt with the sleeves tore off, tattoos, and a glorious mullet came to claim his photos. I gave them to him and he slid to the edge of the counter and started to look at them. Then the kid from earlier walked by again. Now I don't know if it was me, the other guy working, or both of us who were staring a little too much, but the kid had been out of our vision this second time for like 3 seconds and bam, he was at the counter. He started yelling in a effeminate tone what were you staring at I couldn't really tell who he was talking to and worried about an escalating situation. I asked can I help you sir. He replied I was just walking by and I saw you two staring at me and I want to know why you were staring at me. Before I could say anything, the big guy had just finished looking at his pictures, placed them in his cart, leaned over his shoulder and said because you look like a ref king idiot. The kid immediately turned to the big guy and started yelling we like and dress how I want. I'm gay and by that time I can't even remember what the kid said from the shock of what the big guy said. That guy never even looked back and the kid went the other direction. I then realized that my mouth was agape. I looked at the other guy working with me and his was too. The only thing I could say was I think that guy just saved our butt. Never saw the big guy or kid again. I don't work there, but two employees were shot, one killed, last summer around 1am. Our Walmart is no longer open 24 stroke 7. Ex-employee here. Had a tweaker run in gushing blood out of his leg, left a trail all the way to the bathroom, upon where he locked himself in a stall and continued to pool up blood. Had to be taken out by ambulance. Oh and to top it off, they had a standard employee clean up the hazard spill. Unrelated to Walmart, but was at the EB Games where I worked for several years. Parents wouldn't buy their kid Saints Row 3. Kid was 13. I told the parents you can whip gimps with giant purple dildos and their kid got angry. He told me he hated me, then proceeded to lay on the floor screaming his little crap eating face till it turned literally cherry red. He shouted and cried so much that he passed out and the ambulance had to come get him. Needless to say my face was also turning red because I never laughed so hard in my life. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.